<laughs> Hi, welcome to the first edition of Our Town. I'm Lance DeLille. And I'm Regan Jacob. And this show is all about our town. Our community and how we live in it and what we do around here. And you know, there's a lot of things that we do in this community that not everybody gets a chance to see. Yeah, some things good, that are not showcased. That's right. Some good, some bad. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to showcase as much as we possibly can. And on this show, on our first show, we are going to be looking at the good and the bad of what's happening in Gunawaga. Yes, of course. On our first show, we're going to explore a local entrepreneur who is expanding his business. And then we did discover some not so nice things out on the island that Lance and I had to investigate. So we took a look around and we hope you really enjoy the show and get something from it, right? That's right. Now, first of all, let me see if I could start this thing. <laughs> Okay, well one of the reasons Go. why we're actually filming on the bus is that um, we did want to film in places in the community that were unique. And when was the last time that you were on a bus, Len? Oh, it's been a long time since maybe uh, grade four, because after that grade five and grade six, I think I was in the Well, alrighty. <laughs> yeah, no, but it has been a long time. Yeah. So we're uh, on Filming this... is in various locations. That's right. Community. In different places. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy your town, our town, right here. On Channel 4. Now, let me start this thing. How do I get it going? Oh! Ew. By far the nastiest. Really poor Mother Earth. All you see is like the trees vandalized. It's pretty gross. And the worst part is, is that fire is still burning. Really just came out here to have morning coffee. Instead, this is what you get. All the trees being vandalized. Seriously, I'm so disgusted. Wow. I know. I and you know the the weird part was is that I had been up like really early that day. It was April Fool's Day actually. Right. And I'd gone for a coffee with a friend yeah. and we were like, hey, let's pull over that way. Cause it just looked really like a lot of litter. So when I went, this fire was still burning and there was trash. Like I've never seen on the island before. I think people need to think about the rest of the, this community like they would treat their own property. Mm -hmm. You know, would you leave garbage and trash and beer bottles all over your front lawn? This is true. But I don't know how often the island is, is cleaned. I think these are some of the things that you and I need to go and investigate. I mean. No, it's pretty bad. I, it's I don't think it got any worse, mind you. <laughs> I just think this trash has been here for about two weeks and you know there's there's animals and that are going to come here and tear this garbage up. I mean I don't know and did, what's with the tires and I think my question is um, in, in all seriousness you know I know we joke around a lot about, things, about a lot of things but I think in all seriousness why isn't anything being done about this? You know we have all this development in the community in terms of recycling and garbage pickup and town workers and but actually do you know who's in charge of keeping all the land clean? Isn't there some sort of surveillance by the Gunawange peacekeepers? I mean there's just a lot of questions that I think you know you know a lot of communities don't come members don't come out here and I, and I for one am one of them I mean if I hadn't been out here early in the morning in terms of just coming for a drive at eight o'clock in the morning with a coffee with you know one of my friends then I may have never seen it mm -hmm. if you look at people right over there um, somebody walking their dog over there yeah so you they are utilizing the area and the space mm -hmm. it's not to say people don't and a lot of people come out here to run and bike and they bring their kids and they utilize this space as it's the closest thing we can have to nature and forest right now. And it's just really disappointing to see all of this going on, you know. People really need to see what's going on and hopefully something can be done. And let's talk to Eva maybe if we can about the environment and, and the long-term effects of having garbage here. 
the effects of spray painting a tree, maybe I think it's know. just really disrespectful. And I, I think, you know, put your talents into something else. I don't know, to me, I just think, let's go find out how we can get this taken care of today. Let's see if we can do that, at least. Yeah. Let's go. Well, here we are. Yeah. It's pretty amazing in here. Oh, it is nice in here. For sure. I, this is really the first time I've been in this building. Yeah, very cool, very cool. So we're uh, going to meet Eva. Yes, we're meeting Eva. Hey. Hey, how, <laughs> how are, are you? It's about time you get here. <laughs> sorry, yeah, I know. Sorry yeah, that. We're no always problem. running around late. No, <laughs> but really, Lance and I, um, we're kind of showcasing or covering this story this month on our new program that you know, one of the stories that we're looking at was taking care of Mother Earth. And really what struck us was the issue on the island right now of all the garbage and the vandalism. So what we wanted to come and talk to you about today was just the effects that that's going to have on Mother Earth. Yeah, I've been getting really bad reports about this kind of activity going on. I haven't seen it myself because mm -hmm. I'll probably be heartbroken mm -hmm. because we you worked would. so hard yeah. to educate the people about respecting the earth, yeah. your ogwehunwe, have respect for your mother, the earth, would you do this to your mother? Right. But I don't think that message is getting across to all of the youth in par particular that frequent the area. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're all working so hard to clean up and everything, make a good impression on the outside. Well, what about the impression of us to mm -hmm. ourselves, you know, yeah. and to our children? A recreation path was built and mm -hmm. people don't even want to go. They said there's broken glass. They were going to bring their grandchildren and they seen broken bottles and glass all over the place. It's very disheartening. Yeah. Uh, and on this issue of, you said, the spray painting trees, I don't yeah, even like, understand. Um, yeah, and what is it like, maybe... Is that like tagging or something? It's like, like tagging, okay. yeah, and it was a mm -hmm. whole bunch of trees that have been tagged and it's just really crazy is the only word I can yeah. think about yeah, really. to look at it. I was yeah. like really disgusted. So I guess one of the things we wanted to, to know was what are the long-term effects that, you know, well, first education. Trees. Anytime yeah. there's um, a poison put on your earth, whether it be the trees, the animals, nobody is isolated from the air, the earth, the animals, it's all connected, flora and fauna. So naturally there's always gonna be a, a problem with the with the contamination but we've been doing education and trying to teach uh, respect for our environment especially since 1987 mm -hmm. but right now some people aren't getting the message right the it's message is clearly isn't there clearly not. yeah <laughs> if you know you the Yohanda wow. Dekwa, we talk about our culture our tradition while the first thing is respect for mother earth mm -hmm. if you go through the Yohanda Dekwa, you're going to see you wouldn't do that mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's, it goes so contrary to what our beliefs are. Mm -hmm. No, it's true. <laughs> anyway, it's we'll true. close yeah. there. I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to get started and get yeah. a get yeah, a headache well, at the well, end of the day. Thank you so much for taking the time and yeah. sorry we're yeah. late. So was thank you very well. much. It was very, very, very. <laughs> thank you. Was very interesting. It's always interesting to talk yeah. to you. So. Okay, thanks, you Eva. Later.